Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Troy Nunn's Allotment Diary. Uh, it is Wednesday, 10th or 11th of June. Uh, we've had a nice wet day today. I hope you can see me from here. Uh, if you can't hear me, I apologise because I ain't got a mic. But I use the phone I do. And I just post it online. If you like what I'm watching, just go down at the bottom and click to subscribe and like. Thumbs up. I'd like to say hello to everyone who watches my channel. And if you do like it, just subscribe. I appreciate the more I get. Anyway. It is about 10 past 8, I think, on a Wednesday night. I'll just show you, quickly show you around my plot, okay? Right. Right, here we go now. Right, I harvested my onions last week. And I gave them a good harvest. Uh... About 50 whites and 100 reds there was and in this bed I took some potatoes in here for Christmas so I'll have, I'll have some more for Christmas I might have took some more in that one Christmas buds as you can see I've got four rows of potatoes there beds of potatoes I have got to mow the lawns I've neglected it a little bit so I've harvested my garlic and blimey, did I get some big balls of garlic. I'll show you when I go in the greenhouse. I've got rid of all my last of my spring onions. They were like onions. Peas are growing nicely. I've got some pods on these already. They're growing nicely. Um, there you are. There's some there. Nice pods. I'm not harvesting them yet. My leeks are growing. My giant leeks are doing all right. Need to get in there and do some de-weeding again. I only de-weeded it last week. Gosh. Mounds touts. I am having loads of mounds touts. I am. The wife's enjoying them. She loves them. So do we. We had them for Sunday dinner as well. We did last week. Got a load. And another bed of peas just went wild with the peas off there so I'm just going to let them grow and pull them up sort of these two beds out because these were two quick beds I built so uh, oh yes there's my flower bed there you go there's my flower bed uh, I mean whew, I picked a couple of lettuces overnight oh little gems they were gorgeous, so I'm going to grow them every year now. So I'm going to sow some more in a couple of weeks for later on. Here's my greenhouse now. All I've got growing in here is my spring onions. I'm going to put them out soon. My, da uh, my dahlias, I've got some dahlias to plant out. And my sp uh, sweet peppers, I've got three there. It's a bit of a mess, I've just chucked everything in there. Right, the mouse touts, I've just picked a load of them. These are my red onions. Not a bad size. These are the last of my spring onions. These are mostly my garlic. My elephant garlic. Uh, got some more over here with a couple of more red onions in. And the... There you go. Here's one of my garlics. They're about that size, they are. So... It's warm in here. I've got a couple of tomato plants in here. So, right, here's my beetroots. I've got to do some harvesting on beetroots because they're growing. And that, they've, I've got some. I picked some up the other day. And I've got to harvest some more. Uh, the wife is, <laughs> the wife, we've just done our garden up down at the home. And the wife says, oh, I need some pallet sleeves. I says, okay then. So I went and got some for her. And she'd done some two beds. Here's my main crop potatoes, what's in buckets. So uh, I've got two earlies there. So I might do them at weekends, my earlies. Right. 
Let's just walk to the veg cage for you. Right, my cauliflowers. I don't know about you, but I think I've got nothing in here yet. There's nothing in there yet. Let's have a look. Oh, I might have. I don't know. Don't know. Somewhere in there. It's all folded over into a ball. So, I don't know yet. Broccoli. <laughs> Calibris. I should say, there you go. There you go. Both for all of them, we've got them on. Got heads on. So, right, I've never grown broccoli. So what happens if I cut the heads off? Will they grow some more? Or is it that's it? I've never grown them. So just let me know what they do with broccolis. Or am I, or is it better to grow shooting broccolis where you can just pick them and let them carry on? Here's my Brussels sprouts. They're growing nicely in here. Some more. Oh, look, cauliflower. Down there, got my first cauliflower. Oh, and there. Hope it, please don't bolt yet. Because last year they bolted all of them. Oh, got some more. Thank you, Lord. Please do not bolt. Right. I know it's a disgrace. This is my carrot bed. It's disgraceful. I'm just going to let them grow wild now. And I'll pick them up. I will. I'll pick them. Cucumbers. I've got. I've got. I've got one there growing. But I've got limp leaves for some reason. I don't know why. Could you tell me why? These are Carmen F1s. Just leave me a message. To tell me why that they've just gone a bit limp. But they've been all right. There's tires. I've got some daffodils in there. I've got to pull them up. Here's me with a carrot bed. Right. My pears. Lovely. Look at my pears. Oh, yes. Got my pear tree there. That's nicely. With some flower challenge for Neil's allotment. No, uh, yeah, Neil's allotment. Apple tree. Apple tree. There's my apples. They're growing all right. Pumpkins, lanterns. So I lost them, but I did some more. Got them back. Right, here we go. This is plan B. Area B now, we're in. Right, squash, tomatoes, money makers, sweet corn. There's a flower bed. So I've got me normal marigolds. I've got me uh, hoxtails there. Load of hoxtails. Two cabbages. I planted in here by hand. Sown these by hand. They're coming up nicely. I will finish this off for the kids. It's going to be a den. Right. Atlantic Giants pumpkins. Can't wait to see them when they're big. <laughs> Christ. They're going to be massive. Right. Carry on. I've got two courgettes in this bed. Got one in that tyre. <sighs> right. Here we go. Right. Here, are, here is my salary. I don't know what's the matter with my salary. I planted them about three weeks ago. And they're still the same size. I don't know what's the matter. And I planted these, same time. And look at them. Look at them, salary. Parsnips, salary. Parsnips. Hmm, don't know. Two more courgettes in there. These two beds here. I've just composted it. Sieved it and composted, and I'm going to put my leeks in these. I've got two more be extra beds. I've got two empty beds there. I've got to get some horse muck, and I've got horse muck that. There's a bed there. I've got to dig that and horse muck it for next year and put some boards back down. Right, uh, that's the back of the den. That's what it's going to look like. I'm going to put pallet it right round and put a big netting over it so the kids can stay in there. Bless my little cotton socks of a son, a six year old. This tree got broke and he wanted it and he thought, Dad, I want to plant it. He thought, he's, he's thinking he can save it, so he's planted it. So I've left it there for him. Bless him. <laughs> so, uh, got the trampoline for the kids. 
I'm going to probably get some more trees. I put a couple of more apple trees and a pear tree, another cherry tree. Put them, put one down here. Probably one, two, uh, an apple, a pear, and a cherry here, and probably another one or two round there. Tires there. I'm going to put some flowers in that lot. This here, I'm, I'm killing this area off there. I'm going to put a fence down there just to get rid of that crap over there. It's a, it's an eyesore. It is. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to make that into a big flower bed. I'm going to dig it over and chuck a load of compost on it. And I'm going to make it as a flower bed. Kids trampoline. There. And basically, that is my plot, everybody. This is number 46. And it's called Troy Nan's Allotment Diary. I'm mostly doing it because my my wife Anne, she's she's um, she had cancer six years ago, and she got cancer. I'm gonna turn you around to face me. She got cancer six years ago while she was pregnant, and we had to wait a couple of months till she had the baby. Then she had to do all her treatments and that. And I had to gave up work to be a carer, and we went through all the went through it all, and now she's suffering because of the, all the chemo's what she had and the drugs what she's on. She's got osteoporosis now, and she she can't walk very far now. She can't bend bend like she used to. She is suffering bad. So she don't come down here no more to do the work. She went to the hospital for a scan. She found out it was just before Christmas and she had a fractured, she fractured her back. She doesn't know how she did it. She, all she remembers is bending over and she heard a loud crack and it, and she hurt her back. Bless her. So she does suffer now. So this is mostly my allotment. She has got a garden at home. We've just finished doing our garden. I um, re put fake grass down. I'll tell you what, what I'll do is I'll do a video of our garden for you. And you can see. And it's her baby, her garden is. She likes sitting there. She likes looking at the bees when they come in the garden. And the kids love it. So... Anyway, I'd like to say hello to everybody who watch my channel. Any new one, any new people, just subscribe. I appreciate it very much. And if you want to leave your comments, just do. I'll try and get back to you as possible, as much as I can. Thank you very much. I'm just going to spin you around so I can turn you off. <laughs> so, there you go, folks. I'm going to say good night to you. Good night and keep safe, please keep safe in this time of year of this virus. Please. Good night. <laughs>